Resistance training like lifting weights combined with aerobic exercise like running or riding a bike are more effective at controlling type 2 diabetes, according to a study published in Annals of Internal Medicine. Both kinds of exercise by themselves work. Aerobic exercise was effective for improving glucose control and resistance exercise was also effective for improving glucose control. What we weren't sure of was whether, whether if you add one to the other, if you do both kinds of exercise, would you get as much of an increased bang for your buck or not? And we found that you did, you know, that the, the effect of doing both kinds of exercise was essentially twice as good as the effect of doing either one of them alone. Dr. Ronald Siegel led the study, which included more than 250 people between the ages of 39 and 70 with type 2 diabetes. We allocated them randomly to four groups, uh, which were aerobic exercise alone, resistance exercise alone, both aerobic and resistance exercise or a waiting list control where they didn't exercise. Jack Vitalis has battled type 2 diabetes for 27 years. He exercises five times a week combining aerobic and resistance training. Mondays I do uh, cardio exercise which is uh, on the bicycle, the treadmill and the rowing. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays I do deep water exercise and on Wednesday we do strength uh, we do uh, the machines like the ones behind us and on Friday it's kind of a free-for-all thing. This combination of aerobic and weight training has helped Jack lose weight and drop his glycemic levels significantly. My hemoglobin A1C level has dropped from two and a half years ago from 8.5 to about 6.2 which was taken recently. So I think those are tremendous improvements. A 1% difference, in other words, going from 8% to 7%, or going from 9% to 8%, uh, is associated with about a 15 to 20% difference in the risk of a heart attack or stroke, a major cardiovascular event. On behalf of the Annals of Internal Medicine, I'm Sonia Martin.